We all have a special fondness for neighborhoods. They are the places where we grew up, where we discovered our favorite cafe and our favorite person to meet there. Our neighborhood was where the boundaries between coworkers and friends blurred, where we found the perfect place to live on the perfect street, where we went out in search of our destinies. It's no wonder we love our neighborhoods. They're the very heart of our city. But neighborhoods are more than just places. They're a collection of memories. In Seattle South Lake Union, five neighborhoods are experiencing a new day. And who knows how many million memories are about to be made. When you go in for a closer look, you'll see that these five neighborhoods each have their own style and flavor. On the shore of Lake Union, for instance, is the Lakefront District. While Chandler's Cove gives you a taste today of the people-friendly spaces coming here soon, what's on the way will be even more remarkable. Instead of parking lots, you'll see the completely renovated 12-acre Lake Union Park. Instead of warehouses well past their prime, you'll see stylish residences overlooking a never-ending parade of seaplanes, sailboats, and cyclists. Instead of chaotic streets jammed with traffic, you'll see a peaceful avenue at the lake's southern edge. Helping to keep that peace between cars and people is the new Seattle streetcar, connecting to downtown's Westlake Center, where transit links reach out to every part of the region. Before you know it, the Lakefront District will be one of Seattle's most prized places to live, work, or just enjoy the glories of the city that lays out a gleaming lake for a welcome mat. Of course, even neighborhoods have neighbors, and Lakefront's is Cascade. Alley 24 has become a new gathering place that combines turn-of-the-century brick with 21st century sustainability. Home to a diverse selection of businesses like NBBJ, Young and Rubicam, JWT, and Colin Weber, and amenities like Espresso Babachi, Tatini, Velocity Art and Design, Urban Beast, Spa Blix, and Snowboard Connection. In this city block, you can live, work, window shop, or simply get to know your neighbors under the festive lights of a European alley. The Cascade neighborhood is, and will be, equal parts Gore-Tex and garden patches, black labs and amber ale, home to the retired and the just getting started. In other words, Cascade is a place designed for people, all kinds of them. While the Cascade neighborhood is eclectic, its neighbor to the south is electric. This is the Gateway District, a stylish portal to South Lake Union from Seattle's downtown. Emerging just four blocks from Nordstrom downtown is South Lake Union's cosmopolitan front door. Strolling through this urban retreat, you'll find so many great experiences both day and night. At 2200 Westlake, make a morning stop for organic produce at Whole Foods Market and get to know Tutabella Neapolitan Pizzeria or Clover House for cool gifts and accessories. Save time by using the convenience of a neighborhood pharmacy and cleaners, and visit Opal for the latest trends in women's fashion. Then, pick up a treat for your pet at Scraps Dog Bakery, and perhaps you'll top the afternoon with a relaxing trip to Vita Spa before meeting a friend in the lobby bar of the five-star Pan Pacific Hotel. In 2009, important business will take place every day at 2201 Westlake's high-performance green office space. Then you can return home to Enso's beautiful light-filled condominium soaring skyward. Or create your dream loft in Rollins Street Flat's distinctly Seattle interpretation of Soho-style living. Brick and glass, wood and stone, these brilliant homes with their high ceilings and open floor plans await your personal touch. With the Seattle skyline as backdrop, as the day ends, the Gateway District will be home to so many good memories. Next, we'll visit an already noteworthy neighborhood that has a very exciting future. The Westlake Terry District is becoming an international business and life sciences destination. In this neighborhood are the corporate headquarters of Tommy Bahama, Group Health, and Microsoft Seattle offices. Amazon.com is also relocating their headquarters here. Along with it will come new and exciting retail and restaurant space. And people around the world are being helped by the medical research going on at Merck Rosetta 
UW Medicine, and the Seattle Biomedical Research Institute. Not as essential but important just the same, addictive onion rings, double tall lattes, and saucy pulled pork sandwiches are already being enjoyed here. And in addition to oriental carpets, exquisite antiques, and electric guitars, a whole range of new retail spaces are taking shape to support all the businesses making new homes in the Westlake Terry District. To say the least, a remarkable transformation is well underway in this South Lake Union neighborhood. But since you can't live by working, shopping, and dining alone, tempting though it may be, the fifth and final South Lake Union neighborhood is one many fortunate people will get to call home. This is the 8th Avenue District. Today, it's graced with Seattle's oldest public park, some of the city's most energetic, creative young companies, and the artistic flair of galleries and Glazer's cameras. Before long, they'll be joined by quiet tree-lined streets, sidewalk cafes, handsome brownstones with their signature stoops, and veer lofts, creative homes with high ceilings, a minimum of walls, and a maximum of possibilities to express yourself. These are the neighborhoods of South Lake Union. All of them have a proud history, a prominent heartbeat, and endless potential. But these communities aren't simply being remodeled, redeveloped, or renewed. They're being rethought by all who live and work in them as places where businesses, homes, parks, people, and memories will flourish as never before.